everyone thanks for stopping by welcome back to the channel if you're new here welcome i'm g and this is g's nail spot and if you're one of my wonderful subscribers thank you for coming back and thank you for your support and i apologize about what looks like bin liners on my hands pointy bin liners i had to buy some new gloves and i had to buy a large so that they would fit me when i was wearing nails and they just look really wrinkly and awkward and uh, i don't know i'm gonna have to keep wearing them though so hey ho here are the short stilettos as normal because again this is it for me um, I couldn't help myself. I knew what I wanted to do and I knew I'd want to wear them so I had to do them in my size obviously. Uh, here's the colours that I'm going to be using as the base. So we've got Snow White and Sirius Black from Urban Graffiti and I'm also using the Luminous Green which is the Gel Light Luminous Gel Polish which is fantastic because it's humour free and all sorts. It's the L01 and it's the Glow in the Dark Green. And I'm going to be painting this on the nails, as you will see. They will all get two coats apart from the pinky nail, um, which is going to be the black. And that's only going to have one coat because it's just a base colour that's going down because that one is going to get some chrome. So this is a bit of a funky set for Halloween. Uh, I thought I'd do a themed set for a change, not done one for a while. So I've gone with Beetlejuice because this green and black and white, they just scream Beetlejuice, don't they? And Beetlejuice is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite films. Obviously, it's my favorite director as usual. It's Michael Keaton. I've got a bit of a thing for Michael Keaton. Um, still, but you know, back in the day, he was in all the films I used to watch when I was younger. So this is what they look like. Like I say, they've all had two coats apart from that black. So I'm going in with this Miley uh, gel polish, which is a really nice holographic sparkle. And it's called Happy Hollow Day. And it was part of a set they released last Christmas, which was a 12 days of Christmas set that I got as a, a gift. And it's got some really nice Christmas colors in that I'm sort of dragging out again now. But I wanted to put a nice bit of something, something extra on this green, because although it's an amazing green and it glows in the dark, it's going to be the background for some of the art that I'm going to put on these nails. So I thought I'd give it a little bit of extra, a bit more dimension. Um, so yeah, and I know what you're thinking, nail art. I'm not just doing stamping guys, I know, I love my stamping, you guys know I love stamping, but I'm only doing a little bit of stamping on this one, I'm doing some freehand stuff for a change, because it's been a while, but what I'm doing on the thumbnail here is I'm just taking a base coat and I'm popping it on because I want to add some dimension to this but not use glitter, I'm using this funky green tinsel stuff, I'm trying to get a few nail art items out of the box that I've either not used or not used for a long long time and I haven't ever used this tinsel stuff before but I've seen other people use it particularly a uh, little nail room she used some I think on some Halloween sets and I just thought oh you know what? I've got some of that let's have a look and this green is just again perfect for Beetlejuice I thought so I'm gonna pop it on this thumbnail because again this is going to be the background for a water decal that I'm going to use so these nails have got a little bit of everything they've got water decals they've got some freehand drawing there's a bit of stamping there's some bling it's got it all so stay tuned to see all of that exciting stuff but here's what they look like so far before we start doing the nail art so I'm picking up this middle finger I'm sorry if you can hear scratching in the background that's my cat he's in his box with his toy and he's decided to go mad with it right at this moment when I'm doing this voiceover which really is what cats do isn't it and oh no, he's leaving the room. <laughs> anyway, I've popped a matte coat on uh, this nail because I'm going to be doing some freehand painting on here. So I've got my little finger palette. How cute is that? I got that from Sheen. <laughs> um, it's just easier than having a big palette in view all the time and easier for me to get to. And I'm going to start drawing. I've used some of that Snow White and I'm going to start drawing on here. And I'm using a dotting tool. I know, weird again. I'm not using a brush. I'm using a dotting tool. Um, I'm just marking out uh, where I want to be painting white, really. So I'm just using the dotting tool to do this rather than a brush. I don't know why. I just find it a little bit easier to control. Like I say, as you can see, I'm just really marking. It doesn't have to be neat. I just want to mark that line out because we'll be neatening it up a little bit later. So for now, I just need that outline on there. So I'm just using the dotting tool. 
Plus, I'm a little bit tired, so my hands are a bit shaky because I've spent the whole morning putting Halloween decorations up outside on my house. So I'm a little bit tired <laughs> and I've been stretching up and hanging all these lights and skeletons and spider webs and big spiders. Oh, I've got all sorts. Seriously, my house is ridiculous, but I love it. Love, love, love it. So yeah, I was a little bit tired when I was doing these. But yeah, so I'm being lazy now and I was using the brush from the bottle to fill in some of that white and then for the little tiny bits that were too small for the polish brush, I've used my fine liner. And as you can see, I've painted a G. <laughs> I just realised, look, it's a G for G's nail spot. I didn't, that is not my intention. That is not what I meant to do when I was painting that on there, but that is a really cool G I've noticed now. So there you go, guys. A quick trick to paint this nail in your head. Think of it as a G. Think of me when you when you are recreating these nails. <laughs> anyway, back to serious stuff. So I'm going over this again. It's having two coats of white just to make sure it's really pigmented. But you can see this is what happens when you get lazy and you use the brush a lot. You make little mistakes. But the good thing is I have these little eyelash cleaner stick things that clean it up in a jiffy. So no stress. I'm <laughs> just finishing off that second coat of white on this swirly whirly G and then we're done with the white and we're going to go in with some black but I'm going to cure that obviously first and then I'm going to move on like I say with some black and I'm using um, some glitter bowls black and it's um, it's called the unbelievable gel here we go this one here it's very shiny shiny reflective pot but yeah, unbelievable gel. It's gel paint, comes in a pot. It's I've never used it before, heard really good things about the gel paint pots. So I got myself one recently when I ordered a couple of other bits that I needed. And it needs 60 seconds curing, so a little bit longer than some polishes. But it dries without a tacky layer, which is quite handy and is very handy. You will find out at the end of this video when I use it again. It's handy that it doesn't have that tacky layer, so you can cure it without that. Um, but here you can see I'm using the fine liner again and I'm just outlining the swirly whirly G. Um, I want a thickish line, it doesn't want to be too thin um, because I'm sure, well, you probably know, you've guessed from the thumbnail when you've seen this, what this is going to actually be. So we've outlined it with black. I've cured that as well, just in case I mess up these bits, because then it won't matter, because that outline will still be there. Um, and I'm filling in the black stripes of a sandworm. Boom, of course it's a sandworm. I'll let you enjoy this for a bit. Right, so one sandworm. I actually gave the black two coats as well, but I've cut that bit out because you don't need to see me do all that again. That is a bit time consuming, but worth it. I really love how that sandworm's turned out. But yeah, two coats on the black, looks brill. So same fine liner again. We're now working on the index finger, so the pointer. So I'm gonna use that uh, unbelievable gel again and basically just gonna draw some lines. So use your long, longest fine liner you've got and pop some black lines on there. So we're gonna have a black and white stripy nail.
Right, so again, I've done two coats on the black stripes and now it's time to add these little babies. Look at them. I love these little bats. They are so cool. They're quite chunky, but they're cool. And I just think this nail's, this it's like a pinstripe nail, isn't it? It's gonna look awesome with that little bat. And that bat is from Sheen. And I featured that in the last Sheen haul video that I did. So if you wanna see all the other stuff I got with that, go and look at the Sheen uh, video. And that's what he looks like. So you can see he stands quite proud of the nail. That's why I put a good amount of that McCart rhinestone um, gel glue on there. Cause I want him to stay on there. But yeah, look at him. He's brill. He's definitely a Beetlejuice bat. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that one done so what are we doing now oh yes ring finger so we're gonna do stamping on this one and I'm gonna give it a matte coat first because I have found that stamping onto a matte coat works a lot better than sometimes stamping onto the um, the shiny layer that's there from doing the last gel uh, coat so this is a sheen plate again this was in my last sheen haul video uh, it's got all kinds of creepy crawlies and snakes and things on it so perfect for this and i was struggling to decide which kind of bug beetle i was going to use but i really like that guy i think he's probably more of a cockroach but i'm pretty sure you know cockroaches were featured quite heavily in beetle juice as well so uh, i'm gonna pop him on there i liked the design with the square uh, it kind of reminded me of the, the weird house that the deets is uh, well what they did to the house when they moved in and uh, Adam and Barbara, was it Adam and Barbara? We're trying to get uh, the Dietzes out because they were ruined in the house with all this weird artwork. But anyway, uh, I digress, talking about Beetlejuice. And I'm doing what you've seen me do before with a sponge and some black gel, and I'm just doing a frame around that nail, basically. So the pinky nail, that's gonna top coat, because like I said earlier, it's gonna get chromed, and obviously putting chrome powder on a shiny top coat is the best. Um, this is a Coco and Claire chrome palette, which I absolutely love. These are brilliant chrome powders. I've had this a while and I absolutely love them. Um, but all you do is you just buff, 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 buff it in till you get a, a shiny chrome. And that's that, this is, that's as difficult as it gets. Oh, how nice is that purple though? It's such a rich purple, but the chromey goodness, oh, I love it. Here's some bling that we're gonna put on it. So these are Sparkle Supplies UK Lime Jelly Crystals, and this is a mixed part of different shapes and sizes, red, black, and purple. Um, they were in a mystery nail art box that I got on Etsy. So I can't tell you particularly where they're from, but I did do a video on that as well. If you wanna go and look at what's in the mystery nail art boxes you get on there, go and have a look. Um, but I'm gonna pop a few of these, including some caviar beads, because you know I like to put my caviar beads in between them. But these, you'll notice, I mean, they're quite sparse because that whole pot leaked in my drawer, which was not fun. So I have a drawer full of random caviar beads now. But those particular caviar beads are a little bit chunkier than normal. Normally caviar beads are really, really teeny tiny beads, but these are like, I don't know, it's a little bit more chunky. And I thought, yeah, I want some uh, bigger caviars on this. Let's really make it stand out. You know, this is the ghost with the most, baby. So <laughs> everything's got to be bigger and better. So I'm doing my usual caviar beads in between the stones, but they are bigger caviar beads, so they really stand out. Okay, so the last nail, the thumbnail, if you remember we put that tinsel on, so I'm using this top coat nail sealer just so it smooths out that surface again because that tinsel made it really, really rough and we're going to be putting a water decal on so I want it smooth. So I've put the nail sealer on, giving it a little bit of a wipe with some um, prep and polish. And then I'm using this water decal, this is Beetlejuice Silhouette, and it's from Candy Nails UK, and it came on this, this one here with these others that I'll be using at some point, because they're great. Uh, I've cut it as close to the design as possible, which is what's recommended. And as usual with water decals, chuck it in some water, take it out, slide it off, put it on the nail, and normally it would stick down, it'd be fine with no problem. But I realised I'd missed a step at this point when it wasn't sticking and I was getting a bit worried and I thought, oh, it's got to come off. So I took it off, popped it back on the backing paper because I realised I'd not put any uh, foil gel on there. With some of these, um, you need foil gel on there. So you do exactly the same as if you were putting foil on, paint it on, cure it, leave it for a minute to cool down and then I put the water decal on. As you can see, 
so much easier. I mean, I forgot to film the bit where I put the foil gel on because I was panicking about the water decal shriveling up and going all rubbish. Um, so I, I was really quick when I did it and forgot to film it. But there you go, it's it's gone on a lot, lot better, a lot nicer. Um, yeah, so a little trick, if you struggle with water decals, if they're a little bit thicker like these ones, put some foil gel on first, like you would with foils. And they're all done. So there's the Beetlejuice set. Just gonna pop some top coat on. So they're all super shiny and sealed in. I say they're done. Um, as I was doing this, I looked at that thumbnail and thought, it's something missing. And I realized it was a black frame. So like what I've done with the, the ring finger with the beetle on it, I wanted to do a black frame like that. So I used some of the uh, Glitter Bells Unbelievable Gel, because you remember it dries without a, a tacky layer on top. So that's what I did. I got the sponge method again and I just went round that thumbnail with the unbelievable gel and gave it a frame as you can see here. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video guys. I really love how this Beetlejuice set turned out. Let me know which is your favourite nail. Drop a comment down below. Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That'd be really great. And if you haven't subscribed, go and click that button so you don't miss a future video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.